Here we are, part two of Kids Africa Map. We've made all of the animals so far that we're going to use in this demonstration separated from their backgrounds. Here's the Africa Map. I'm going to zoom in so you can see more clearly what I'm doing. Let's see, I don't want to zoom in too much to hide things. Move over the layers, move over the history. I wonder if we can make these bigger. No, it doesn't look like a panel. No, no options. Okay. So here's the Africa map. And we want to make it for kids. So we want, we're going to make all the colors bright. I'm going to make a copy, a backup copy again. In case I make a mistake, I'll have a backup. I'm going to go Command J. And this time I'm going to take the map like we did in the veg head and drag it down to that little folder right there. Uh, third from the right at the bottom of your layers panel. And I'm going to pop it into a group, call it backup by double clicking back up, turn the arrow to the right and the eyeball off so it doesn't confuse us. I'm going to start with the magic wand in this exercise, but I'm going to show you some more tricks with the magic wand. We're going to use the stroke in a different way than we did when we made a border. And then we're going to drag the animals into this file. So we'll have layers of animals and of course, you know, doing the minimum gets you a C, doing more gets you a better grade. And I'm also going to show you some tricks, other tricks with the type tool. We're going to work with opacity, and I'm going to introduce you to blend mode. So let's see if we can get this done in two parts. I'm not sure we can. Here's the magic wand again. I'm going to go up here and change the tolerance to one. Hit return. I'm going to go on to, the reason I got that little thing is because I'm not on the layer that's showing. I'm on the group. So I'm going to go on to the layer with the Africa map. I'm going to select the gray and I'm going to hit the delete key on the keyboard and then Command D for deselect. So the first thing I'm going to show you is if you select this sort of aquamarine country and hold down the shift key, you can go through this and select all the countries. But we don't want to do that. That's the long way. We're going to select this country. We're going to go to select similar. And voila! All the countries are selected. Now, you don't have to make these the same color I do. I'm going to make these aquamarine, we want bright colors for kids, so I'm going to make them, I'm going to go into Edit, Fill, and because it's on color already, it will fill it with the last color that you pick. So that's the only drawback of picking the color when you're in fill. So I'm going to go to foreground color, and then I'm going to go back to color. And now it brings up my color picker. And I think this bright pink looks fine. I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to click OK. And then I have to go back here to fill and click OK. And now all the countries are bright pink. Before we get rid of our marching ants, we want to go back to the edit drop down, get the word stroke. Now in here, I don't think that's black. I think that's a green that I picked off of the vegetable head. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make that black. Somewhere in the middle down here, you can get zero, zero, zero. Yep, got zero, zero, zero. I'm not always successful. Sometimes I get one, one, one. Uh, it depends. I mean, there are different blacks, different whites, red, blacks, blue, blacks, etc. So I've got the color. I only want a one pixel width. And the other thing is, unlike the border, we don't want it on the inside. We want it centered. 
So the only thing you're going to have to watch for the rest of the map, if you do the map in, in one take, is that the color is the right color. It should be black. I'm going to go OK. And I am going to go up to the Select drop-down, Deselect. And there we have the first colored countries. I'm going to, I'm still in the magic wand. I'm going to select this forest green, select drop down, similar. This time I'm going to pick the color from the color picker down here and say foreground color. So I'm going to pick like this sort of greenish blue. I'm going to go OK. I'm going to go to File, oops, I'm sorry, Edit, Fill. Instead of color, I'm going to say foreground color. It's going to be that green. Click OK. And then I'm going to go back to Edit, Stroke. I have to change the color back to black. And that's OK now. Center, one pixel, OK. And then Command D for deselect. And then I'm going to go back to my I'm, I'm in my magic wand, duh. The brown. Uh, let's see. Select similar. And then I'm going to do edit fill. And if I go to color now, it'll bring up the color picker. So this time I'm going to go to a yellow and I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to click OK and there's yellow. We need a black outline. Edit, stroke, still black because we used the color thing in the edit and center, one pixel, OK. And we have two more things. We have this khaki color country and the water. So I'm going to go to, I selected one and I'm going to go similar. I'm going to pick it with the color picker this time and I'm going to go to a purplish blue. Okay. Edit fill. Foreground color. Okay. Go to edit stroke. Make this black. There we go. OK. Center, one pixel black. OK. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the waters. And I'm going to go select similar. So all the water selected. I'm going to pick a cyan kind of blue real bright cyan, highly saturated up here in the corner. Okay, and I'm going to go to edit fill, foreground color, okay. I'm not going to put a black outline around this. I think it's just too much. You can if you like. Uh, so now I'm going to go to select, deselect, and I have my map. I haven't saved it. Oops. Save as, and remember how we save things. I'm going to put my name, Karen Jossel, Kids, Africa, and you can put map. Just the word Africa would be fine too. And I'm going to save it into Karen's Africa map folder. Save. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to drag the animals in. It looks like we're going to go to a part three, but um, I'm going to show you a few different ways to drag the animals in. Um, let's see. One way, I'm going to clear the chinchilla. I'm going to go to the Move tool, grab this little chinchilla, make sure I'm on the right layer, the layer that's got the checkerboard, and go up. When that changes color and I pull it back in, you can see a slight outline in the Mac. This is one area where I must say the PC does a little better job. It's, it gives you a white arrow with a big plus sign in a box. 
But I, I know that the chinchilla is going to come in. There's the chinchilla. I'm going to move that chinchilla down here for a moment. Then I'm going to go to the mountain goat. I want to show you another way. I'm going to drag the mountain goat out uh, from the grouping up here. I've still got my move tool. I'm going to grab the mountain goat and drag it over this way. Slight outline that... I'll tell you, sometimes you can you can see it on a computer, you can't see it on a projector. And now the goat. The goat, actually, I probably could have, instead of a one, see that fringing? I probably could have um, magic wand it with a two or a three. Because that fringing, there are ways to get rid of it. We're not there yet. Um, other ways to get rid of it, so we'll get there eventually. So I'm going to move the goat down. And there's my mountain goat. Um, then I'm going to get the serval. There's the little serval. Drag the serval up into here. That's one big cat. And then I'm going to go to the tiger and drag the tiger in. So now I have, if you look over here in the layers panel, all these layers. I'm going to go to File, Save, just so I don't lose my work. I'm going to do a couple things before I end. I'm going to go to, if I want to go to directly to the servo layer, I can hold down the command key on the keyboard, if you were on a PC, the control key, and in my canvas, I can click on the servo, and it'll go right to the servo. Um, there's something called auto select, which I don't care for. It's the same thing. We just did it manually. If I turn on auto select and click the map, it'll go to the map. Click the tiger, it'll go to the tiger. The reason I don't like it is I forget it's on and I accidentally, I'm like looking at the map and I think I'm on the tiger and I start working on a layer I didn't realize I was working on. If I do it manually, it seems to come out better. So I keep that unclicked. This little drop down, you have the choice of a group or a layer. It defaults to group. Unless you've got like 20 groups, it's, um, it's, I really think having it in layer is better right now. And the show transform controls, it's like free transform, but it's always there. And you may end up loving it right now. In this class, this beginning class, I'd leave it off. So that's how I'd leave this upper section when you're in the Move tool. That's how I would leave it. Um, we are going to make this beautiful in the next lesson. So that ends part two.